Bill Shorten, thanks for your time. Good evening, Brian. Very good to be with you. Now, you're pretty nicely positioned at the moment. The government's no. in a lot of trouble. Well, the government's in terrible trouble, Brian, and deserves to be. I mean, they've lost the trust of the Australian people. Sure. Is there an argument that as leader of the opposition, this would be an excellent time to get some policies out and articulate a, a vision well, for Australia? Well, Brian, we have just such policies. Well, where are they? I think they're in my other jacket, Brian, but we've got a couple of absolute pearls. I wish well, I had do you remember with... roughly what they cover? Oh, vaguely, Brian. I think we want a better deal for working Australian families. What we've got in this country at the moment is a cruel government, sure, Brian. Sure, A dysfunctional sure. government. Yeah, listen, I'm sorry an to... An uncaring inter... government yeah, sorry and to... an incompetent government. I am sorry to interrupt. What I'm asking is, are you presenting an alternative vision to Australia? Yes. Yeah, but because... Have you seen the polls recently? Yes, Brian, we analyse the polls constantly. You're well ahead on health. You're yes. well ahead on education. Yes. Well ahead on welfare. So we should be, Brian. So and we behind be. on national security and economics. Yeah, I don't know why that is. I've never understood well, why that, that is. Well, that is the perception yeah, out there, How could there, we possibly Shorten? be behind on economics? I mean, the Treasurer is Joe Hockey. He doesn't even know what he's talking about. It doesn't say he does. Well, it says that we're, whatever they think of the government's current policies on economics, well, they think under you it would be worse. Brian, we've got economic chaos. They haven't even got last year's budget through. How could My it possibly is, be worse? this is what you would need to address. Brian, You'd need could, to present I, a case. How can anybody say it would... What could possibly be worse than Joe Hoggy is true? It doesn't All work. Right. OK, Bill Shorten, on another matter, do you have a plan to address global warming? Yes, we do, Brian. And how are you going to do that? A lot better than the current government, that Brian. Is not I mean, an they're answer. not that any is good not on an this answer. issue because the Prime Minister thinks climate change is crap. Well, what if the government changed the leader and you got well, Malcolm Turnbull? If they put Malcolm Turnbull in there to try and stop the bleeding, Brian, they're going to create a colossal internal problem in Why? their own They'll party. They'll be ahead if they no, put him in. They're going to lose the right wing of their own party. The Why? right hate Malcolm Turnbull. Why? Well, he uses verbs, Brian. He knows the names of trees. What if he's they been put, on a yacht. What if they put Scott Morrison in? Is that why he started smiling, do you think? Well, he laughed the other day at the press club. He was amused at the press club? Didn't say he was amused. I said he laughed. When do you think they'll put him in? Look, the point is, Bill Shorten, it's not what they are going to do. It's what you're going to do. What alternative are you presenting? Did you know Morrison laughed at the press club? Bill Shorten. No, I saw him smiling a week ago, but Brian says he was laughing at the press club. Oh, no, no, I've seen the polls. We're miles ahead. Nothing to worry about. Bill Shorten. I'll see you Saturday. My tennis shoes are in your car, I Bill think, Shorten. incidentally. Hello? Our time is up. You can't be serious, Brian.